Hello, this is Dr. Stanley Kim again. Now we will discuss treatment of colon cancer and the rectal cancer. Although those two diseases are very similar, the treatment is quite different. Uh, we use many uh, newly developed uh, precision medicine. And uh, let me explain to you. Thank you for watching. For surgical resection of colon cancer, open colectomy was the standard uh, surgery, but more and more surgeons are now doing laparoscopic assisted colectomy. At least 12 regional lymph nodes must be dissected. Fewer than 12 lymph nodes dissection is a high risk in uh, stage 2 and causes high recurrence in stage 3. Sentinel lymph node sampling is not a standard method. Malignant polyp, the polyps containing cancer cells, sometimes needs the uh, radical surgery when they are poorly differentiated. Having lymphovascular invasion or cancer uh, or dysplasia at resection margin or T1, T2 tumors. Please look at this uh, drawing. Right hemicolectomy for right side of colon cancer, transverse colectomy, segmental resection, left hemicolectomy, sigmoid resection, and the total colectomy for familial colorectal cancer syndrome like a Lynch syndrome. After surgical resection of all visible cancer, chemotherapy is given to patients with all stage three patients and to some stage two patients to eradicate possible remaining cancer cells. It's called adjuvant chemotherapy. Adjuvant chemotherapy reduced the recurrence and the death rate by about 30% in stage three patients. However, in stage two patients, its benefit is very minimal. So majority of patients with stage two cancer do not receive adjuvant chemotherapy, but it's a helpful for high risk uh, stage two patients who have bowel obstruction, perforation, or T4 large tumor, or lymph node sampling uh, has less than 12 lymph nodes. MSIH, microsatellite instability high, due to the efficient MMR uh, enzyme, uh, means good prognosis. So patients with a stage two, when this tumor has MSIH and the deficient MMR, definitely adjuvant chemotherapy is not indicated. Adjuvant chemotherapy starts six to eight weeks after the surgery. Chemotherapy regimens are Folfox, uh, which is infusional chemotherapy, or a Zilox, also called the K-Pox. Uh, it's a pill uh, and uh, IV infusion. For three to six months, we used to give a six months of therapy, but studies show that uh, three months therapy is not inferior to six months, especially when you use this uh, Zeloda uh, as a, a Zilox K-Pox. The study didn't show any difference between six versus three months therapy. Oxaloplatin can cause uh, peripheral neuropathy. Proton pump inhibitors like omeprazole inhibits absorption of zeloda, the capsidabine. So we never use uh, omeprazole kind of medicine with the zeloda. The zeloda, uh, zelox, is slightly more toxic than folfox. It causes more severe hand foot syndrome, diarrhea, and the thrombocytopenia. The gene profiling test, uh, oncotype DX colon cancer assay may be useful to determine uh, if the patients need adjuvant chemotherapy or not. It provides 12 gene recurrence scores. For treatment of rectal cancer, uh, before treatment decision is made, accurate staging is very important. With digital rectal exam and the proctoscopy can accurately determine the location of tumor the distance from the anus. Transrectal endoscopic ultrasound or rectal MRI to find for the local invasion and the peripheral lymph node metastasis. CT scan of the chest, abdomen, pelvis is routinely done for metastasis. And the MRI scan of the liver to, for uh, liver metastasis suspected, such as when the patients have high alkaline phosphatase level. PET CT is not routinely done, but it may be useful before liver resection is attempted or to uh, detect occult metastasis when CEA is rising. When the tumor locates in upper two thirds of rectum, usually five centimeters above the anal verge, 
This is anal bulge here. Then low anterior resection, LAR, including total mesorectal excision is required. Low anterior resection with a total mesorectum. This is a mesorectum. You have to remove whole mesorectum, which contains the lymph nodes around it. And also, it has a, a circumferential uh, margin there. Tumor, when the tumor is in lower one third of rectum, usually five centimeter within the anal verge, very low lying tumor, then abdominal perineal resection is required because this include the uh, excision of the uh, uh, anus. Patients need to create the uh, uh, colostomy bag uh, stoma. When the tumor is really small with a well differentiated tumor, local excision may, may be done. Many rectal cancer patients have chemoradiation therapy before surgery. It's called a neoadjuvant chemoradiotherapy. The indications are large tumor T3, T4, or lymph nodes positive N1 uh, in MRI scan of the rectum or endoscopy ultrasound. Or sometimes uh, uh, it can convert the uh, anterior uh, abdominal perineal resection and the colostomy bag to low anterior resection uh, to preserve the uh, sphincter by uh, downsizing the uh, low lying rectal tumor. Not possible in every patient, but occasionally it can be done. Usually it takes about five weeks uh, with the concurrent chemoradiation therapy's full course with infusion of 5-FU during uh, radiation therapy. But uh, oral chemotherapy use Zaloda, the generic name capecitabine, uh, is given twice a day for 38 days during radiation therapy. During this neoadjuvant chemoradiation therapy, oxaloplatin or iroticon or bevacizumab uh, should not be given because it only increases toxicity without improving survival. In Europe, uh, short course radiotherapy alone, just five days, Monday through Friday, is an option. It doesn't give a high pathological complete, complete remission rate and long full course chemoradiation therapy, but overall survival was not different from full course radio, uh, chemoradiotherapy. When the tumor is very bulky, uh, like a near obstruction or N2, uh, extensive lymph node metastasis, or medically inoperable due to a core morbidity, then we give a chemotherapy first uh, with a Folfox or Folfiri, followed by chemoradiation therapy. After neoadjuvant chemoradiotherapy, about 20% achieve clinical complete remission. You can't find the remaining residual tumors. Do they really need to have a, this big surgery? Well, some of them may not need to have a surgery, but it's not a standard therapy yet. It's a controversial issue. Surgery is done in six to eight weeks after neoadjuvant chemotherapy, chemoradiation therapy, but after short course radiotherapy, surgery can be done early in three weeks. Sometimes patients have upfront surgery for rectal cancer. Then after surgery, we give adjuvant chemoradiation therapy. For stage one, uh, patients don't need this uh, adjuvant therapy. But stage two or three, uh, we give concurrent chemoradiotherapy, the same as neoadjuvant uh, therapy. And then followed by adjuvant chemotherapy containing oxaloplatin Folfox for about four months. But we need to avoid aeronautican uh, like a Folfiri because it can cause severe diarrhea. Exception is T3N0 with the low risk factors and the invasion less than two millimeter into mesorectum then uh, adjuvant therapy may not be necessary, especially when the Oncodyne DX colon cancer gene recurrence score is low. About 20% of new colorectal cancer patients have distant metastatic disease at the time of presentation. And unfortunately, other patients develop metastatic disease after initial therapy. If feasible, uh, those liver metastases or lung metastatic tumors must be removed surgically or destroyed by other means. Uh, with the ablation or stereotactic body radiotherapy, if possible. 
After resecting those metastatic tumor, five-year survival rate can go up to uh, 40%. Otherwise, uh, we test for RAS breath mutation or MMR or MSI and the TMB, tumor mutational burden. Most, many patients have a proficient MMR with a negative RAS mutation. Then we use the classical chemotherapy, Folfox, Kpox, Folfiri, etc., with or without uh, uh, Avastin, Bevacizumab. Sometimes we just give a 5-APU with a Bevacizumab when the patients have a severe neurotoxicity because oxaloplatin can cause uh, peripheral neurotoxicity. Bebacizumab avastin should not be used for patients with recent history of bleeding thrombosis or hemorrhagic brain metastasis. It also delayed the wound healing. Anti-EGFR, cetuximab or panitumumab can be combined with the chemotherapy when the tumor uh, has a negative RAS and the locate in the left side of the colon. But remember, this anti-EGFR is not used for the right side of colon cancer with a positive uh, uh, RAS or BRAF mutation. It can cause worse outcome. Cetuximab uh, is usually combined with the irotican, irinitican, and the folfiri. Combining with the uh, oxaloplatin is not effective. But for the uh, panitumumab, FDA approved its use with the Folfox uh, oxaloplatin con uh, uh, containing regimen. Deficient MMR uh, and the MSI high H tumor respond to uh, pembrolizumab pem Keytruda very well. It's highly effective. We don't use the com combination of chemo with the uh, Avastin with the uh, uh, cetuximab because those combination is uh, not very good. For maintenance, uh, Avastin or uh, anti-EGFR like uh, cetuximab should not, should not be used alone, always uh, used with the uh, chemotherapy drugs. When the cancer progressed even after the above therapy, you can try the initial treatment again with the addition of bevacizumab if it's not used before. Even if it's used before, continue this bevacizumab with the chemotherapy or switch to other regimen. Like if you use the uh, Folfox before, then uh, use the fol Folfiri with the bevacizumab. If the anti-EGFR is not used, then we can use the anti-EGFR with the chemotherapy. But remember, uh, it, the tumor has to be RAS negative and the left side of colon. If it's RAS positive with the right side colon, it's, it's actually uh, uh, give you a worse outcome. If the tumor is a deficient MMR or MSIH, then uh, immunotherapy with the uh, pembrolizumab, Keytruda, or nivolumab, Optivo, with or without epilimumab, your boy. It's highly effective. About 5% of proficient uh, MMR cancer have a high tumor mutational burden, uh, uh, TMR. Then we still can use the uh, pembrolizumab, Keytruda, even though they have a proficient MMR. When tumor has a RAS negative and BREF positive, then the treatment of choice is brafani with the uh, uh, cetuximab. Brafani, the encrophenib, is anti breath agent. TRK fusion positive tumor tested as a positive NTRK. Uh, we use the uh, lacrotractinib and entrectinib. If the tumor progress progresses following the all above treatment, still we can use the uh, Lonser with the uh, Avastin or uh, Steve Arga as a, uh, a monotherapy or Siremza uh, with the Folfiri or Zeltra with the Folfiri. If the HER2 positive, then anti uh, HER2 drugs uh, like a Herceptin with the Progera or uh, Laparatinib or the uh, NHER2. We discussed about vitamin D in the part one. Vitamin D is important. Patients with a low vitamin D level is associated with the inferior survival when compared with the normal level. So a patient should check its level and uh, take vitamin D if deficient. Low dose aspirin 81 milligram for uh, more than 10 years was reported to reduce the colorectal risk and uh, colorectal polyps. 
In Lynch syndrome, high dose of aspirin, 600 milligram for at least two years, reduced the colorectal risk by more than 50%. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs were reported to regress or prevent polyps. Vitamin D-rich foods, fish, meat, vitamin D-fortified milk, cheese, broccoli, uh, uh, carrots, eggs, avocado, etc. As you can see in this uh, graph, five-year survival rates of colon cancer, rectal cancer are pretty similar. Uh, stage 1, 74, 74%. Stage 2, uh, 30 some percent to 60, mid 60%. And the stage 3A is exceptionally good, 73%, 74%. And the stage 3B, uh, 46, 45, stage C, 3C, 28 to 33%. And stage 4 is pretty low. Just one, one interesting thing, stage 3A prognosis is better than stage 3, uh, 2A. Thank you for watching.